Okay, so hello guys, now that the Lollipop ROM is finally out for our Zenfone 5, this will be a tutorial video on how to root your Zenfone 5 after updating to Lollipop. It's a pretty simple process, all you have to do is head over to the link down below in the description and download this file. Okay, it will be a zip file which you have to extract into this folder which will be a Zenfone root kit dated as 25 or 28 May. Okay, so you have to open this folder okay and okay it's an extracted folder so i have to open that too okay and then connect your fo phone to your, your usb cable okay the one more thing that you have to do is head over to developer settings and get okay so go to settings and head down to developer options okay if you don't have developer options enabled all you have to do is go to about go to software information and tap on build number five to six times till you see that now you are a developer okay so when that is done head over to developer options okay and click on usb debugging now i have already rooted my phone so i can't show you the exact steps but i'll tell you the exact steps one by one as you can see i have super user su there we go which means it's rooted right now okay so when you are done with that what you need to do is head over to your computer okay and double click on sorry i'll just remove that okay all you need to do is head over and double click on root okay and wait till your phone reboots and installs the root and the super su apk so when that is done you know, head over to your phone remove the usb cable from the phone and when that is done go to your application list open su as soon as you open su you will see that it says to update your su library okay update the su library and otherwise you know you won't get root access so what it's a very small download around 100 to 200 kbs so when you have updated the su library okay you will get full root access so that is the most easiest way to root okay for unrooting you need to go to settings okay and as you can see here it should have an option to completely unroot it okay there you go you have to go to full unroot under system settings okay or clean up rather okay if you click on full unroot and you will be completely unrooted and your warranty will be restored so there are a lot of cool things that you can do when you root your phone especially install the exposed framework which i will be showing you in another video the link for that will be down below in the description too so when you have upload when you have rooted your phone you can install the exposed module framework and fix the memory leak issue which will also improve your battery life so thank you guys for watching and subscribe my channel for more videos like installing exposed framework etc okay and improving your battery life too see you guys in the next video